if you like mud, you should move to New York. We have lots of it. I'm always going to look so goofy in these winter videos. You don't look goofy. You look cute. I look kind of prosperous. What? You're just wearing a cute jacket and... Where'd you get the jacket from again? Goodwill. Yeah, because we are a Goodwill loving family. kitties were having a pretty hardcore fight earlier like the worst kind of fighting with meowing like fierce meowing and chasing and to the point where we had to separate them for a while and it was miserable and now look at them this is total demonstration of forgiveness okay you good so i ordered something for christopher for christmas that just now came that I wanted to share with you guys and I'm pretty sure this is it, but if it's not, then I won't put this in the video. I'm really unsafe about this. Okay. Woohoo! Okay, so... Oh, they look so great! Beer glasses. So I just did two. It's really exciting. I do not want to, but I will. It will help. I don't want to help. Hi, Noelle. Do you want to say hi to all your fans? People love you. Just want to get my lace. There's just one. Oh, there's three. Three eggs. Comment on this, but we used wood chips all last year, and it was it worked really well. It was pretty. It was really dry. It was the biggest thing, but it did get pretty dusty over the winter. And we used the deep litter method, which I don't know if you guys have heard of that before. But basically, you allow the the shavings to compost on the floor throughout the winter, and then you just keep adding layers in the winter, and so you get both the benefit of having your shavings composting continuously, but you also have the heat that's off put from the composting process. And so we did that last year with the shavings, Science. and it worked well. But we're using straw this year. And I'm not, like, I like the straw as, like, a bedding, but it always seems to hold a lot more moisture to me. Guys, I found another egg. <laughs> Are you laying an egg? I don't see anything coming. <laughs> Fluffy butt. Saturday.
my friends! Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen and today I wanted to share two different things with you guys. The first thing is a little bit about our plans for our Back to Eden garden in 2019. And then the second thing I want to share is just an exciting announcement I have for you guys that was unexpected, um, but I just wanted to share it here on YouTube. This is the third time I've tried to film this. The first time I filmed it, I was in the kitchen and it was out of focus and Teddy, our lab puppy, was whining and going crazy. So I decided to not use that footage. The second time I filmed this, I was in our room that is eventually going to be our like greenhouse, our indoor greenhouse, and Teddy was whining again, but also I was out of focus the entire time <laughs> and it was grainy, so then I had to cut that out. So I spent like an hour already today trying to film this like brief clip, um, and it just shows you how much of a challenge it is to actually record footage when you have animals around, a camera that doesn't focus automatically, <laughs> and just in day-to-day -day life. So, my first real garden was in 2018, and this garden was about 30 by 50 feet. Um, we tilled up the ground just a little bit, just like a couple inches deep, just to get rid of um, the like first layer of rocks. Um, and kind of break up the soil a little bit. And then I planted a huge variety of things. Um, I shared all about the things that were successful and the things that weren't so successful in a blog post that I will link below. But I found a few different challenges from tilling. I found that the ground was really, really dry, that it did not drain well, and that we had a huge weed problem that was really hard to keep up with. So. In the process of gardening for the first time, I was learning so much. The first thing I was doing was I was learning through um, a local program that I had actually gotten connected with through something I was working on in graduate school. Um, and this program is a therapeutic horticulture program um, specifically serving the veteran population. And through, you know, helping to support that program through my schoolwork, I was able to attend all of the sessions and I learned so much about gardening in one year. I mean, their farm team is amazing. The veterans that were in the program knew a ton. The veterans leading the program knew so much. And so I feel like I learned like a decade worth of knowledge in one season. Learning it and then applying it is, you know, a whole nother challenge. So you know, I have all this information in my head, but then how do I apply it in a garden? So. Um, to learn more about that, I went to YouTube to watch people doing it in their own gardens. And there were three channels that were very influential in my first my first year. Um, Roots and Refuge, huge resource. Love following her on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, all of the above. Chris and I watch their videos all the time. Everyone loves them. I mean, I don't know a gardener who doesn't love their channel. So they were hugely in influential and provided us with the information that we are going to be using in our garden this year. Um, Living Traditions Homestead also has so much information on gardening and they had the most beautiful garden this past year. I loved watching all the things they were growing. And then also, and my gardener has just such a wealth of information on how to grow tons of different varieties of plants. Um, and also, they have a seed company and the seeds are only 99 cents a packet which is amazing. I did write a blog post about my favorite seed companies and also have a video on that that I can also link below if you're interested in, in it. But I just relied so heavily upon those three channels and there are so many more that I found a ton of advice from. But those three were hugely influential in my path towards becoming a passionate gardener that um, and in my decision to change what I was doing for this upcoming season. So through a Roots and Refuge video, she mentioned Back to Eden Gardening. And I hadn't heard of that before. Um, and I think she linked it in one of her videos. And so I went to it, I, I went to the video, I watched the documentary, and then Chris and I watched the whole thing together again. And we were completely hooked on the idea of this Back to Eden method. So the premise of the Back to Eden Gardening Method is to use all no-till and to mulch with a thick layer of wood chips. And these aren't just like, you know, 
pieces of wood. These are chips from trees and branches and leaves that have been all broken down. So you're getting all those nutrients from those organic materials and they're going right back into the soil over time. But also in addition to adding nutrients to the soil, the wood chips provide a lot of moisture retention to your garden. That's such a weird word, sorry. When you mulch heavily, the need to weed decreases dramatically. You're blocking the sunlight from the, the weed seeds that are under the soil with a thick layer of mulch. On top of that, if weed seeds get in the layer of mulch or they're able to you know, pop through the layer of mulch, they're much easier to pull out because they're sitting in this loose organic material. So there are just so many benefits to this method that we saw through watching the film and we really wanted to bring it in. So we called a bunch of wood chip companies and eventually we found one and they dropped off a um, truck load of wood chips to our driveway. So at first we were able to move a good portion of them, um, but we still have two piles that have been sitting um, for months now that we have not made uh, a big dent in. If you're looking for a natural way to uh, lose weight after the holiday season, get some wood chips dumped in your driveway and move them slowly over time. Or just move to a farm. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Move to a farm and eat from your garden and you will lose weight. And you're not just moving the wood chips, but you lay down cardboard first to kill the grass, and then you're adding other organic matter like broken down composted material. Um, we were putting down horse manure or like old straw or things like that, um, rabbit manure, and then you put the wood chips on top of that. Gorilla cart, the tool you need to succeed. So it's a lot of manual labor and it's really hard for me to do by myself, especially since we are also trying to expand the garden at the same time. You're so cute. Come on. So today we were able to get going on it again and we moved some more of the wood chips. So we're really excited for our next gardening season. We're really excited to try this new method and to focus on a more natural way of gardening um, here at the Sunshine Farm. As you can see I've already done um, like a half bed right here. This one's gonna be shaded by this tree so I am going to be planting things like greens um, and some root vegetables that actually benefit from some shade especially in the heat of summer. But um, it's pretty wide it's about a uh, four feet wide and then it goes for a while and then this one is um, all the way down so this will be housing a ton of stuff Again, it's about four feet wide, so really what I'm going to be planning to do is have have a two, two rows in one section so that I minimize the amount of walking space and maximize the amount of growing space, which I did not do in my first garden. I'm really grateful for the channels that taught me so much about gardening and really inspired me to make some big changes in the years ahead. So I've been on Instagram for about two years now. Um, if you are on Instagram and you're not following us at the moment, our page is at Sunshine Farm NY. So a few days ago, my Insta friend, um, Anita with Blueberry Fields Farm, tagged me in a giveaway through the Farmhouse Movement, which is an online magazine and movement all about modern farmhouses, modern farmhouse lifestyles, natural living, that kind of thing. First of all, I was really excited to find that page because I hadn't heard of it before. So I was excited about that community that exists and just that idea of natural living and modern farmhouse living. And then I also was excited about the giveaway, so I went ahead and joined it. And then just this morning, I woke up to a notification that we won, which was so exciting to us. 
Um, I was waking up at seven. I was really groggy and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I literally responded, what? Um, but then I, you know, kind of figured out, oh, okay, like we want a giveaway. That's awesome. So I went downstairs and I showed Chris and he was just completely shocked. I was so excited to share that news with him. So what we won is a all-inclusive three-night um, trip to Mexico. So that is going to be awesome. We're going to go in the spring. I don't have all the details yet, but we will definitely be vlogging that trip. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Chris and I have been together for um, five years now, and we've been married for three and a half years. And in our past few years being married, um, we actually haven't really traveled ever out of the country together. We've never gone anywhere that, you know, exotic or anywhere new or exciting, really. Um, we have gone to California to visit my family on multiple occasions, and we visited friends and things like that. But we've actually never gone on a vacation together um, just to have a vacation. So I'm really looking forward to some time just to spend with him um, in a new place. So I wanted to share those two things with you guys. Um, and winning giveaways like this is all because of communities that exist like Instagram and YouTube and these connections that are made with other human beings that are really awesome. And I'm really grateful for things like that. And I hope one day we can give back and offer those same kind of opportunities for other people. So that's all for now, friends. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like the idea of no-till gardening and back to eating gardening, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to continue following our journey and you want to see our vlogs when we go to Mexico and watch us as we start our back to Eden garden, go ahead and click subscribe so you can stay up to date with what's going on here at the farm. We're really excited to be able to share this journey with you. Hi, muddy little guy. Hello. Hi, my sweet little friend. <laughs>